go. Hi guys, we're here with the blue truck that belongs to Tyler. Tyler tows dirt bikes around on the hitch of his truck and it sags a lot and he doesn't like that. So we're gonna try and solve his problem. Woohoo! We don't know what we're doing, but we have beer. Right on. But no, in all seriousness, we think we can do this and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So this is how to install an added leaf suspension and some new shocks on I believe like a 2006 Silverado. 2004. 2004. Yeah. I feel like they look the same from what? It o hasn't changed. 03 nope. to 06. Yeah, I think 06, 07. Yeah, 06 because it's 7 for the other body style. Cool. Which are probably still the same if you have an 07 or if you have a 99. It's probably still all the it's same. It's actually the same all the way to 2018 for this Adelief kit. Jeez. So, how to install an Adelief on a brand new Silverado or a 2018. Sweet. Let's do it. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're pulling off the uh, the rear brake lock and hanger so that it has room to move. The leaf goes on the bottom end? It goes between this flat one and the one above. Yeah. Okay, so it goes on top of the overload one or whatever they call right. that. And then we got new U-bolts too? Nope. Should be able to reuse. Sketchy. That's what they all said. Sketchy. So maybe we don't torque them. Oh yeah, let's soak these all right now. They, look, they actually look good. Okay. I'm not worried about them. I was going to say, that was like my worst fear is breaking a bolt or something. Yeah, no, you're not going to break those, but, but they're, I mean, they're barely rusted, surprisingly. We can leave the springs in the car, right? And then yeah, we're just gonna... yeah, you don't take them off. You just disconnect, you lift the uh, axles and then let it sag a little bit so you get some clearance in between. Let's take the shackle off. And do one side at a time. You guys working on shaft? We're, we're shafting and shackling. I like shafts. I mean, what? Stay hydrated. So, oh, yeah. Right. We're going to take the U-bolt up. But first, we're going to put a table under the diff so that it doesn't go too far. I can't wait for the shop to be clean, guys. Will and I have plans. This is shop? I thought it was a graveyard. No, it's real plans. <laughs> it's the same company I used to uh, right with my silver rider. Oh, those are pretty boys. Yeah. Good stuff. Mine rode awesome with those. Yeah, yeah. Should go good. We'll see. That we're putting some Pro Comp shocks on her. On camera. We're removing the, uh, the axle hangers. What are they? Isn't that what they're called? Shackles? Uh, no, shackles. Oh, yeah. Shackles are on the back. That's the shackle. This is U bolts. U bolts. Edit that. I hear it's bad practice to reuse these. We're going to do it. Because that's what the kit calls for. Well, but the kit says you can reuse the it. BDS knows what they're doing. More than I do. <laughs> you can blame it on BDS too. Yeah, thanks BDS. Yeah, BDS. No, not really, I like you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, good quality Send stuff. Send me some new shit. Okay. More just wheel travel. Sponsor Tyler. There you go. And then we take this out. Remember the stack. So if you're removing the leaf springs in your car and there's multiple shims, remember the stack. Remember where they are. Yeah. Well, there are the shims in between. Once I yeah, them. we should. Those two won't come apart. It's right. Just be so now we remove this nut to take this block off, usually called a lift block. Socket okay, so we're removing this guy. Not a socket, I just... Gonna drop everything, wrench. get that spring in. Yeah, it goes boy. in between the horizontal spring, or I think it's called like the load spring. Let's check. And then we were sending 14. it. 14. But they gave us some nice hardware, so we don't have to reuse everything, but they do say we gotta reuse the U-bolts, uh, so. Now we're disassembling the leaf pack. Right on. This is the one part that has always confused me on these things, though. Uh, is how we're supposed to compress this. This is probably where you use the C-clamp. Yeah. Well, that would have to be a really big C-clamp. New spring, old springs, old overload spring. Um, big gaps here. We are going to compress this. It says to use a C-clamp. I would prefer to compress it with either the weight of the truck or the transmission jack, and then put a C-clamp on it instead of trying to C-clamp that all the way up. We'll get it compressed and then C-clamp it and lower the thing back down, put our new bolt through, put our new nut on, and tighten it, release our C-clamps. There's the new one. To a line. It's pretty long. Yeah, but it'll go up the yeah. other way, so. We can just cut off anything mm -hmm. on top if we don't like yep. the way it looks. Do not put a used lift kit on your truck. That is great advice that I think everyone should hear. Like, lift so kits- So much cheaper. Lift kits are inexpensive. Like, they are inexpensive. Should we lower the axle down? Get the all the way through and put the other one on, get the nut on. So 
So we readjusted our seat clamp locations, and uh, we are we're winning now. Push up. And you found another seat clamp. I was going to impact it. Oh well, I mean we got to clamp it still because you don't want to tighten it by this bolt; it'll break it. Well, no, get, go up a little more so there's more weight on it. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of weight. I guess. There you go. That's the bingo. This old man that I live next to, uh, he's got a big F-350 and he just put a, God, it's gotta be at least an eight inch BDS lift on it. Looks ridiculous. He's like 75 years old. I'm like, Jesus, you only got two more good years of getting in and out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I got new tires, he got new tires. And then like, <laughs> I got, I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to compete with you. Like, we both got old trucks. Like, just be happy you have a truck. All right, this side is, I believe, put together. We're gonna do uh, the other side, and then we'll work on getting the old shocks out, new shocks in. All right. So we gotta cut the bolt. Let's grind some bolts. So we got the U-bolts out. That shock's probably That pin in the middle, the block, all that stuff. Putting the new spring in, and then compressing the scroll. So, moving along on this side, after we learned all the other stuff, so. All right, side two. All bolted back on, and we're on to working on the shocks. And I got this new electric half inch ratchet thing that we're gonna see if it does stuff. Dude, easiest shock installation. Hush, I'm not done yet. Okay, fair. <laughs> In theory, easiest. Yeah. Okay, I dropped that nut there. It was busting nuts all over the place. Oh, yeah, I gotta put it. my sticker on once it's mounted so I can tell what kind of shocks these are. Yeah. I didn't put the stickers on mine. Well, I'm gonna put them on mine, goddammit. Okay. People gotta know. Yeah. I got I got a Pro Comp uh, dual steering stabilizer. Ooh. These are the 9000s, not those shitty gas filled 3000s. I don't know what the hell mine are, but I have. It's the nitrogen ones, not the gas. So it's still gas? Or the, not the oil, I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Now the strap breaks and just impales you. <laughs> I'm enjoying kind of laying here. It's a little dirty. I'm excited for epoxy floors. Where's your cutty boys at? Why would we be getting epoxy floors, Chris? I thought you was a grinder. Are you actually going to be able to do epoxy floor these with as much fucking grease as on them? Will says he can do it. Tuss. Now it's not the China bullshit. I mean, it's still probably from China. Oh, for sure. But it's but it's not as bullshit. But now it's pro comp from China. Now it's labeled China bullshit. Yeah. How far off that fucking lift are we on the front? Four inches? Yeah, you. About one. You can twist that too if you need to also. I can, I can use my ratchet. Did we check torques or anything? Are we worried about any of that with the shackles? The shackles? On the, for the leaf spring stuff. The u bolts? Nah, no, they're, they're tight. Okay. It is sticker time, motherfucker. It's oh, yeah. This is YouTube, I can't say that, can you? It doesn't matter. We don't care about that kind of thing. I used to listen to Joe Rogan all day talking about how he can't do shit on YouTube because it take away his money. Yeah. It's true. We don't make any money yet. Okay. You guys see us finish the rear? Didn't really film anything on the front, but pretty straightforward. We took a shock off, it's gone. We put the matching shock for the rears on. There was these one kind of weird things that we saw on there. So they had these in here. So it like lengthened the shock distance. But what that ended up doing was because this truck doesn't have a lift on it in the front is, so right now this is fully extended and it's like right there. When it was in the truck, when the suspension was at full droop, it was like all the way up there. So it only had about two inches of suspension travel. However, so I don't, I don't know. Um, we did not reuse. Those aren't factory at all. Those. No. So we're gonna keep these for, I don't know. But um, definitely don't think they should have gone back on with these ones because we were able to pretty much install the shock at full droop and it was pretty much the right length. So I don't know why you would need those for me. You don't. We're gonna get the wheel on, get, get Tyler on the road, and then that is a 
that's, that's another day here at the DBO. And that's also vaguely how to put another spring or leaf spring in the rear. Yes. Yeah, yeah, if you want to do an out of leaf, you know, just follow that. We, uh, we did follow stuff. that and then the other videos on YouTube also. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> cross reference. Definitely cross reference. Yeah. We probably missed some stuff, but I don't think things are going to fall off this. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Tell your friends. Bye.